Hi, my name is Stanley Higuere, the director and cinematographer for the movie Tunnel. What would be the accident scene? You know, firstly, I had a storyboard that was created to address that. I had, I had a storyboard for all the, all the shots in the movie where I indicated my, my, my frame, my camera angles, the lenses, uh, the type of shots. I made a complete shot list and um, the movie was shot within 16 days and for each day uh, it wasn't really difficult getting the shots done because uh, I had taken care of everything in pre-production but for the accident scene specifically we took a lot of time to plan that uh, it was the first time in the movie it was originally meant to be there uh, according to the original script that was given to me by the producer uh, it wasn't there so I included it because I wanted the movie to start with a bang I wanted something that people would see the cinema and be like oh let's sit up and watch this movie it's going to be a blast so I did that and I think she liked the idea because she said she had always wanted to shoot a movie with a realistic accident scene. And she actually said she thought I'd be able to achieve it. So uh, it was in the plan. But though it was the first thing according to the sequence, it was shot last because we needed ample time to replan really plan for it. So that we hit it realistically. Which we eventually did. Now coincidentally, the day we shot the accident scene, uh, on our way to the location. Uh, some of our crew members actually were involved in an accident. Uh, five of them were in the car, and including one of the cast, the questions was, yeah, um, they had an accident, and the car, well, and yeah, so I just set the tone for the shot. There was accident in the air, so everybody was already in the accident mode, so we just, everything flowed. And uh, the person who was driving the car that had the accident, Shelly, she was actually, she eventually became one of the people uh, who, we in the car that had the accident. So it was just like, okay, you've had an accident today, just act accident, we should Made a lot of plans to make sure we achieve it well. Uh, we got security, we got the police involved, uh, we got uh, traffic people involved. On our part, we took care of, um, you know, emergency situations that could arise. For instance, we drained out the fuel from the car so that in case there's a spark, there won't be an explosion. Uh, we had our caution signs, reflective jackets, tapes, the color on the road, and all that. And we split our crew into three units uh, one unit controlling traffic, second unit taking care of logistics, and third unit on ground walking. And yeah, I think it was quite detailed what we did. Now, a lot of research went into that shot, uh, the accident, accident shot. Uh, I had to do a lot of research into accidents and all that. I had to watch a lot of uh, videos, accident videos on the internet. Uh, ask a lot of questions. And some of the things I took into consideration were okay, fine. How are the cars going to collide? Are they going to be driven by people? Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a stunt person on set. Uh, I would have loved to drive one of the cars and just crash into other cars. But uh, it's risky, but. Uh, life is all about risks, but nevertheless, I was behind the camera, so I couldn't do that. We had dummies in the cars when they were crashed, and after the crash, the first crash, it wasn't bad enough, so we had a second crash. Uh, after the second crash, we put the people back in the car, and so tried to put the blood on them, the blood stains, uh, smashed the windscreen, smashed the glasses. Uh, the car, the car wasn't as badly damaged as we expected it to be, so we had to damage it ourselves, you know. When you see some accidents, you'd be like, ah, oh, this accident was bad. Did anybody survive? See the way the car was crushed and all that. And here we were trying to trash to bash these cars, and they were refusing to get bashed. So we had to physically bash them ourselves, you know, smashing the windscreen. I know, like, uh, the car that YJ was in, uh, the glass refused to break, so we actually smashed the glass we had inside. And she had all this glass on top of her. She was screaming, ah, who's doing this, who's doing this? But I liked it. I didn't say anything, I was having fun. Because I knew I was getting a good shot. Then uh, the one that Femi Jacobs was driving, 
the guy behind, uh, who happened to be a continuity manager, we actually just protected the side of his face, frame the shot so that we won't see, we won't see the protection and all that, and we smashed the glass from behind his head. So it was realistic. Surprisingly, all the all the world was smashing the glass. He never moved. He just played dead, and he was so dead. In fact, the pictures of him dead, his dead pictures were more real than more real than any other person. Let's get something to protect his head. You're gonna smash his glass on him now. On who are they? And uh, well, those are some of the safety precautions we took. And I think the rest is for you to see at the cinemas and judge for yourself if we did a good job or not. Uh, I think locally, maybe someone has done, but I've not seen. But I think this has to be one of the most realistic accident scenes that has been shot locally. And I just hope people go to the cinemas and enjoy it. The whole plan for the accident scene was to create total mayhem and complete destruction, you know? And as much as we tried, uh, I admit everybody put on his best. And I believe that we did a fantastic job. But nevertheless, it's still not as gory as I wanted it to be. But I think the producers did a good job. Um, this was introduced and they didn't shy away from it. Uh, it was going to involve more money. It was going to increase the budget for the movie, buying three cars to be trashed. Although we eventually used only two, not because they didn't want to provide the money for the third one, but somehow. Uh, the logistics of getting three cars within such short notice somehow didn't work out. So we had two cars that we were bought specifically to be trashed. Uh, yeah, and that's it. They were bought to be trashed. And we trashed them. I think my, my background as an artist came into play when shooting this movie because I'm a painter, you know, and it's something about a painter and his choice of colors and all that. So I needed a picture that would be surreal, uh, something that would be reminiscent of Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Chariscurio uh, style of painting, you know, the interplay of light and darkness. All the people I like to work with in my career include uh, James Cameron. James Cameron, because of his uh, perseverance, uh, he doesn't give up. When he wants something done in a particular fashion, uh, he doesn't settle for anything else. He makes sure he gets it exactly the way he wants it to be. With Tarantino, I think I think he's a fantastic guy. He's a crazy guy. He's just he's just mad. A lot of people tell me that man, you're crazy, man. Uh, there's something about your head. I don't like it. I like it. It's good. Everybody can be normal, you know. He's a crazy, crazy guy. guy. I like to work with him so that together we can do something crazy. So once more, this is Stanley Higuari signing out and telling you to go out there when this movie is out, see it for yourself, have a nice time.